obviously it's a huge honor for me um, to, to be able to have this achievement and obviously it's something that's going to stay in the history books. You know, no one can take that away from, from this team now, not only me, but this team um, that we've achieved that goal and obviously yesterday's result doesn't really reflect our performance so at least like that goal kind of um, has something to, to look up to and, and to focus on that we can do this for the next match kind of. Uh, the second half it started um, pouring with rain and obviously the ball was very slippery and we're a team that likes the, the th long through balls forward so obviously we realised that the surface wasn't, wasn't up to the conditions that, to play that kind of game so obviously I started re receiving more in short, turning off the shoulder, things like that and that's how the, the goal um, came from really so it was more focusing and adjusting our play to, to receive short instead of rather than the long balls that we normally play in Gibraltar. I mean, personally, you want to keep helping the team as much as possible. I want to keep scoring because that's the, the job of a striker. I obviously vision every match and I'm imagining myself scoring because that's my role and that's my way of helping the team, the same way that defence have to make sure they have a clean sheet. So for me personally, a goal, but for the team, there's nothing else that we'd want than, than a win. That's what we're aiming for and that's what we're going to do for sure. Yeah, for sure. I mean, after playing them the first time, we've kind of seen their, their main players, seen what, what their strengths are and, and how they play football. So obviously we're going to analyse the match. We're definitely going to do some good analysis now and see what went right for us, what went right for them, their weaknesses, and obviously exploit those weaknesses in terms of like they have a playmaker and make sure she doesn't get the ball, just tactics like that. And I'm sure that this next match, you know, the errors that we made in the first match is definitely preventable in this match. It was, it was something new, um, we're used to having the anthem at the back but I think that us um, singing without the anthem it was actually much stronger and, and it showed our, our passion even more. I mean to represent your country that anthem just signified how much it meant to us and you know every word meant so much so obviously without the music focusing on our words on the rock of Gibraltar and um, yeah after the coach uh, Jansen who was very passionate about the anthem and, and Gibraltar was very proud of us because we definitely put a, a shift in in terms of having the courage to sing the song without any, any music, really. I mean, the fight that Gibraltarians have, I think, is it's something that no other teams can match. So we just have to keep fighting. And obviously, like I was telling the girls, you know, the match is something that no, we cannot forget, but just learn from it. And what's important is not the match, but how we react from that. What's the most important thing is how we then display our performance on Sunday and how, like, I think it shows greater kind of fight if we come back from a loss 4-1 that didn't reflect our, our true performance to now winning the match on Sunday. And I mean, like I said, I've already made history with a goal, but now I want to make history and get our first win um, in UEFA tournament for, for our country.